the age of France of free is over. I'm not the one who's saying this. This is what Emmanuel Macron said in the month of March earlier this year as he began his four nation tour of Africa. For those who are not familiar, France of Freak refers to the French sphere of influence in Africa. This was France's post colonization strategy of propping up dictators in its erstwhile colonies to set up military bases and to maintain its stranglehold on the resources of the nations of Central and West Africa, even though they become politically independent. What is interesting about Emmanuel Macron is this. He is the first French president to be born after the end of France's colonial rule in Africa. In 2017, when he was still campaigning for the top job, Emmanuel Macron had famously declared that colonialism is a crime against humanity. And once he was elected the president, during his visit to Burkina Faso in November 2017, Emmanuel Macron won himself a lot of fans when he said, and I quote him here, I'm from a generation that does not come and tell Africa what to do. But the question is this, has France really stopped meddling in the affairs of the Western and Central African nations? Well, take the example of Niger, the nation with the most recent coup in Africa. On the 26th of July, when the pro-Western but democratically elected government of Mohamed Bazoum was ousted, Emmanuel Macron was quick to react. Macron was categorical in his statement that he would not tolerate any attack against France or its interests, and Paris would retaliate immediately and uncompromisingly. Now, France has got every right to defend its interests in any part of the globe that it wants. But the obvious question that springs up is this. What really are French interests that France wants to defend in Niger? You see, Niger is the seventh biggest producer of uranium in the world. And as of 2022, Niger exported about 17,615 tons of uranium to France, which is 20% of France's requirement. If this source of uranium dries up, the French nuclear power production industry, even if it is not affected immediately, will feel the strain in the days to come. But uranium is just the tip of the iceberg. Anti-French sentiment at this moment is really strong on the streets of Niger. And the locals say that France is only itself to blame for this. The French policies are clearly viewed as neo-colonialist. The French attitude is perceived as condescending and paternalistic, while French engagement with its erstwhile colonies is viewed as vengeful. Consider this. Since 1990, there have been a total of 27 coups in sub-Saharan Africa. And of this, 78% of the governments that have been toppled in military coups have been in Francophone nations. Analysts point out that the reason for this political turmoil in Central and Western Africa is the French policy of France Afrique. Even though leaders such as Emmanuel Macron and his predecessor François Hollande have verbally tried to distance themselves from these pernicious French policies. The fact that France Afrique emerged in the aftermath of the Second World War under Charles de Gaulle as a system of French exploitation of what were effectively sovereign nations has defined the relationship that the West and the Central African nations have had with France. The French African Empire ended only in political terms, but economically, even to this day, a total of 14 African nations have their economies tied to the French Central Bank. Now, countries such as Benin, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, the Republic of Congo, Guinea-Bissau, and Equatorial Guinea. All of them use the CFA franc as their currency. The CFA franc has a fixed exchange rate, and these nations must deposit half of their foreign exchange reserves with the French Treasury. What this effectively means is that 14% of the African population that lives over 965,000 square miles of land that represents about 12% of the African continent's GDP has no financial sovereignty. So the events that unfolded in Niger and the turmoil in other Francophone nations are happening in a context. What is actually unfolding is the unraveling of the exploitative system of France Afrique, of France's weakening stranglehold on the resources of the Western and Central African nations, even as Russia and China appear to be expanding their influence 
in this troubled African region.